What's the aim of the CBI's campaign on taxation? The word on the street seems to be that British business isn't paying its fair share of tax at a time when everybody's having to tighten their belts. The purpose of the CBI campaign is to demonstrate that actually we are. We're paying a quarter of all the taxes paid in Britain, and that's as much paid by British business as French, German or American business. It's time that story was told properly. What's the CBI's position on, on the GAR and how will that help uh, tackle abusive arrangements? One of the reasons why people are questioning whether business is paying the right amount of tax is because of a very small number of examples that might technically be legal but aren't actually ethical, moral. These are the so-called black box tax arrangements where you're doing things to avoid paying tax that have no commercial rationale. I'm against that. And I'm supportive of the GAR, the new rule that would stop those sorts of tax arrangements continuing. Tell me why it's so important that we draw a distinction between transparent low tax jurisdictions and secret tax havens. I don't like the way that I sometimes hear the debate around Europe that points the finger at Dublin and said there's something wrong because Ireland has a low rate of corporation tax. That's not a tax haven. That's a country doing exactly the right thing building the living standards of its citizens by encouraging inward investment. And I want Britain to do the same too. If there are issues about tax havens, they're not issues about low tax, they're issues about tax secrecy. And so transparency of the tax paid between different tax regimes so that different tax authorities know whether anything is going on that shouldn't be going on is the way to tackle the tax haven debate. Why is it so important that the UK has a competitive tax competitive tax landscape? We've come out of a, a deep recession. We've come out of a period when the model of economic growth that we thought was working for us proved not to be the model that we should pursue. We've got to find a new model. And that model, as an island of 60 million people on the edge of Europe in an increasingly globalised world where the centre of gravity seems to be moving eastwards into Asia, that model has to be based on attracting investment in the British economy. That won't happen if our tax regime is seen as a reason why people won't invest in Britain. I want our tax regime to be seen as a reason why people will invest in Britain. And the honest truth here is that a lower rate of business taxation will actually generate more investment and ultimately more jobs and ultimately more tax to the British exchequer.